And people ask me, how do I get to heaven? And, you know, I could give them the theological answer, which, you know, is in, in the Bible, and it just talks about the fact that, that as uh, human beings, we are just sinful people, and that uh, God loved us all so much that he sent um, his only son into the world so that our sins could be forgiven and that we could have um, life forever, uh, a good life forever uh, with, with God in heaven. Now that's the theological answer. The, the, the answer in terms of the way that it, it, it applies to my life is that there was a time in my life where, where my life was painful. It was not a good life. I was not happy. Um, I did things that you shouldn't do just to try and get rid of the pain. And there was a time where I actually cried out uh, to God and said, if this is all that, that life is like, this painful existence that I live, you know, why would a, a, a smart person even want to live it? And, and I, I said, God, if, if you're real, then you have to have you have to help me. You have to, and it's it's you, you've all heard the word saved. It's it's where that word comes from. I said to him, my life is painful. You need to save me from this, and um, and my life changed. And and I, I I remember telling him, I said, you know, I'm sorry for all of the things that I did that were stupid. I'm sorry for all of the the people that I hurt. I'm just sorry for all those things that I, I did that that make me carry around with me and that made me carry around with me on a daily basis guilt. Um, and and when when I did that, I actually felt a sense of peace. And I knew at that point that God was in my life because I had I had accepted, I guess I had accepted the belief that he he really did do what he said he was going to do by sending his son. Jesus Christ into the world so that that the, the painful things that I was feeling as a result of the, the wrong things that I had done in my life were forgiven now and that I didn't have to carry them around. Um, and, and that's what, uh, what it's you know, getting to heaven is all about. Is, it's, it's believing that Jesus Christ really is God's son and that he really did come into your life so that you could have a better life, so that you could really know, you could really have a relationship with God. Um, and it's a relationship. It's just like a relationship that you have with a friend or a relationship that you have with a wife. It's, it's something where you interact with each other. I, I constantly, um, when I pray, I, I ask God to give me direction. Um, I ask God to forgive me for the stupid things that I do. Um, because one thing you have to know is that the stupid things don't stop just because you have God in your life. Um, so I think that I think the best way to explain the gospel, um, which by the way is, a, is an old word for good news, um, that the simplest way to explain it is it's it's not a the, you know having that relationship with God is not a doing thing. It's not things that you have to do. It's a believing thing. It's simply believing that Jesus Christ is indeed the Son of God and that he came into our lives so that we could be forgiven from the, the things that we've done in our life and have a, re a relationship with God forever. It's not a matter of, of, of doing things. Doing good things is not bad. It's never bad. But it actually has nothing to do with going to heaven. So when people ask me, how do I go to heaven? I say... You just need to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that, that God loved you, just you, so much that he sent Jesus Christ into the world so that your sins, your, I like to call them stupid things, your stupid things are forgiven and you can have life, eternal life, forever life with the Lord Jesus Christ.